do a little quick video right here. Um, in the flesh we have a Titan X Pascal architecture and here it is completely naked. I'll try to get a good shot of this because it's so reflective. The cameras can have a hard time with it. I focus there. And you can kind of see so for there you go that's it right there um, with the heat with the cooler removed um, you got to make sure you unplug this one and this one which are the fans and the lighting uh, before you actually remove the the actual heat sink and off the back of this thing all these bolts have to come out just to, I mean all of them you can't have any bolts. Make sure you leave this on there for when the back plate goes back on so that IC gets the uh, correct contact. And then the I.O. cover and the shield back here stays on. But you need to take out a screw here and the screw there. Otherwise, the cooler won't come off. So if you have to force it a lot, don't do it. It should be able to rotate slash peel off very carefully. Go bit by bit. You don't want to bend anything too hard. You don't want to force anything too hard in the... Let me make some room here, get this water block stuff out of the way. This is the uh, cooler, the bottom of it. You can see sometimes these uh, pads will stick to the graphics card. Sometimes they'll stick with this. I just move everything back over. You get your VRM heat stuff right here. And uh, some of this right here as well for the power delivery. Um, and then pretty much the other side of this is just your generic Titan... Uh, cooler right here and uh, that we won't be using but they do look nice maybe I'll do something with them we got two of them now so that's where the GPU was connected so that's being replaced with this from EK um, that's the GPU die right here and then you've got your memory portion of the heatsink which you have to then use and I'll show you in a second your VRM section is going to be this area right here. So there'll be different thicknesses of these heat pads, right? But you gotta make sure you put in the right spot to get the right amount of pressure on all these all the components, not to overdo it on some and to make sure you have connections on the other. There are different thicknesses. Some of these are pre-cut, some of these you gotta cut yourself. Check the manual with it um, and then you'll know. Um, and then this is this bad boy right here on the other side and you can see there's your uh, your channel right here, the water comes in from the left and gets pushed out to the right and then goes out, up, and around this way. So, and that's when all the tubing and the hoses and all that stuff will get connected right there. And that is going to sit on the front of this guy, uh, just like the one that we have in there right now. So, just wanted to give you guys a look. Not too many of these are seen uh, with their covers off on a video in somebody's house. People usually air cool them or... If you get a hydrocopper version, which I don't even think they made this time, uh, then you don't have to do this. Alright, next time.